Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to import any image you shall choose into CarX Drift Racing Online. This method only works on PC and requires the use of Kino Modeler Loader. All links will be provided in the description and this is some of the stuff you can do with it. You can import an image, turn it into a sticker and then slap it onto your car. All platforms that play the game will be able to see stickers as opposed to let's say using Kino liveries. Um, first, we are going to need to download a couple of programs. So let's close out of CarX. We're going to open up our browsers. We're going to want to download Halloween.zip. The link will be provided in the description. You need this because it contains the bundle files and the images, the textures that go along with those bundle files. After you have that, you're going to want to extract the zip. For me, I have extracted it, renamed it, and said necessary, or put something necessary for import Halloween. Uh, you can name the folder whatever you want, but this is all that's important, is the files inside. Mostly the bundle files. These are what you're going to be editing. And then these are just the pictures that's associated with those bundle files. All right, so after you have downloaded that and extracted it into a folder that you can easily find, you're gonna to wanna to download the program UABEA. -E it's a program that allows you to edit the textures in the bundle files. We're going to go past the 8th and 7th and go down to the 6th release. Download it for the operating system that you have. For me it would be Windows so I would click on the UABEA-Windows.zip. You're going to want to un extract that and then run it. Well you don't have to run it. You've extracted it and you already have it. After you have that you're going to want to get .NET 6.0 or higher. You're going to want to do it for the operating system that you have. For me, it would be Windows X64, so that's the link I would click. After you have downloaded this, you're going to want to install this, and then you're going to need to restart your computer. After the computer has been restarted, you can now start changing or importing the pictures. So we're going to open up the UABEA file, the .exe, exe, click file, open. You're going to want to find that Halloween folder that you extracted earlier. And then you're going to want to open any one of the bundle files. So I'm going to open up this top one. It can be any one of the bundle files, it doesn't matter. Then after that, you're greeted with some random gibberish characters in this. Not really needed. Click info. Then we're going to click on the Halloween vinyl and whatever number it is. So it's dark or lit up and highlighted. And click plugins. Edit texture. OK. Then this is the texture edit. You go to texture, load. This is where you pick the image that you would like to import. For me, I'm going to use an image that I've already prepared ahead of time. I'm going to import that one. Then you click Save. It'll close out both those windows. Then you get back at this window. You click File, Save. It tells you that you can close the bundle window. You close that. Then you click File and Save. After that, that program is done. You no longer need it. Now you just got to copy and paste that into your directory for CarX. So you're going to open Steam, go to Manage, or right click CarX, go down to Manage, Browse Local Files. Then you want to follow this path, Drift Racing Online Data, Streaming Assets, Double A, Standalone Windows 64. This is where you're going to paste the bundle. So I know that mine is time stamped. I know I edited this just one minute ago at 1.45 p.m. my time. So I'm going to click that. Or not rename it, but click it. Copy. Go over here. Paste. It'll ask if you want to replace it or skip. You replace it. And now the um, image has been imported directly into your game. You can now close out and open up Car X. I would like to remind everybody while CarX is loading that you do need 
to run the Steam version of Car X with the Kino mod for this to work. You will also need to have some sort of photo editing software such as the free software GIMP so you can convert images that are JPEGs into PNG. The image does need to be a PNG. Um, you do have to use specific resolutions on the image file. Um, you can use 512 by 512 which is the default stickers. Um, if you want to do more than one image at a time I recommend doing uh, the image size of 4284 by 4256 and that usually lets you import pictures without them tearing and having strips and kind of crooked and stuff. Alright, so now that we are in Car X, we go to our garage, design, vinyls, you can go to any one of them. Mind you, that actually we're just going to do a brand new one. Alright, and then you're going to want to create a layered group. After you're in a layered group, you now add a layer. And then you scroll all the way over to your Halloween stickers, which is the pumpkin icon right here. And you can find the image that you just imported. This is what happens if it's not the right image size, by the way. So you get little tearing in the images and stuff. So you find the image that you just imported, and then you just rescale it to fit the canvas. As you can tell, I have imported Itachi and his nice little glare. You want to get it to be the roughly the size of a square as best as you can. Of course, you can also, if you go out of bounds like that, it will crop it off. I'm sure if you've played around with the layer groups, you know this. But after you have that, you confirm. You click Save Layered Group. Then you name it whatever you wish to name it. Click save, and now you officially have a brand new sticker. And Tachi's glaze is right there. And I'm just gonna scale it up. more all right and then you after you have created the sticker the layered group of the Halloween image that you changed you can reuse that bundle file for a later image or for an image later on I really hope that this tutorial helped you and that you can deal with the mistakes that I've made in making this I probably recorded this at least three or four times trying to get it right but I really do hope that this helped you guys in importing pictures into Car X and saving them as stickers so that you can start creating your own custom liveries however you wish. You can do it with any image as long as it's a PNG and a certain resolution. You can use other programs to upscale those images to 8K and then import them um, to have better resolution on the images so they're not so choppy. Because if you get an image that's too small and import it in, it will look a little weird. Uh, let's take the TM out. I'll show you what I mean by that. Like, for example, X to bring in a new one. Uh, this image right here, I imported. It looked pretty good whenever I was editing it and everything. But if I was to drop it onto my hood. And scale it up just a little bit you'll notice it's a little fuzzy so you will probably want to use something like upscale a program that lets you upscale images without the loss of quality um, to be able to up scale it to let's say 4k or 8k so it looks nice instead of looking like this but yeah that's pretty much it I'm not gonna do a tutorial on how to do uh, Photoshop or use GIMP or how to edit a photo or upscale a photo because this is just a tutorial on how to import pictures as a sticker on Car X. I will see you guys next time. Enjoy!